Could people recognize your effort to socialize even if you're being weird? If this is true then there aren't many good people that my weirdest meets. It has less to do with being good and more with the social skills of the recipient of said efforts. We're all a little weird and life's a little weird so, when you finally find someone whose weirdness is compatible with yours, you fall into mutual wired mess and call it love. Dr. Seuss Good people can lack situational awareness. Doesn't stop them from being good people. There's a difference between dorky innocent weird and I wouldn't want to be alone in a room with this person weird. Don't be the latter. The latter is a creep. Be the former. The former excludes good intentions. It has nothing to do with being good or bad. People can be good and socially oblivious or bad and socially perceptive. Honestly, I'm not sure where you came up with that idea. Remember too that how you are scrutinizing yourself is exactly how others are scrutinizing themselves. Everyone is too worried about themselves to spend time judging you. I disagree. I think you need a certain level of experience with social encounters to be able to notice when someone is making an effort. If the other person is also inexperienced and in their eyes, it's them who's being weird, you can't expect them to be able to notice you and adapt. And either way it has nothing to do with the goodness of a person. This is true, my job forces me to be social and to engage people who are involuntarily present at corporate events. These people turn out to be the more humorous and interesting than the company's party animals. Good people recognize that weird isn't a problem as long as you're not crossing anyone's boundaries. Honestly this feels less like a shower thought and more like just a good tip. Basically every post on this sub is not a shower thought anymore but these mods are worthless so it doesn't matter. The point is that any social skills have to be learned. Start it slowly and don't stop. Yes, that's true. Good people are more likely to appreciate your effort to socialize and are less likely to judge you for being a little weird. It's important to remember that everyone has different personalities and ways of communicating, and it's okay to be yourself. However, if you're concerned about coming across as weird, it's always a good idea to be polite and respectful, and to show genuine interest in others. More like neurotypical people recognize when someone with autism or ADHD's mask slips. Feeling like you need to learn how to socialize and pretend to be normal are classic signs of masking, which is a common tool autistic ADHD people use to fit in, hiding their weirdness. Research it people, you're weird for a reason. No one is meaner to you than you are to yourself. Chances are people like you. No matter how good or friendly a person is, he surely can't recognize mine as I'm completely unable to socialize. Now if only I could recognize good people recognizing my effort so I didn't feel like an absolute moron. I hate going to school every day and spending all my time alone. So far I'm too weird and I just haven't connected with anybody yet. Friendships, crushes, all that stuff just hasn't panned out. People say university is the best time of your life, but it's only my first year and I'm struggling with classes and tired of going. You like the idea of people seeing through your weirdness so you think of those people as good, more like. People can be good and pretty oblivious at the same time, or mean but socially perceptive. Yeah, then my autistic as hasn't met very many good people people usually are put off by my inability to mask. I'm awkward but attempt to be outgoing, and they give me insanely weird looks and try to brush me off. I'm trying to socialize on this forum. But I can never post here, no matter how original or abstract my thought. Are there any similar groups that aren't so tight ass? So real, emotionally mature kind people don't need to emphasize the flaws of other people, but love them through it. Likewise, if you feel like you're the socially awkward person, a boundary for yourself is to respect yourself and not get wrapped up into how other people see you. If you're treating other people kindly, and not inserting yourself into business that isn't your own. When you focus deeply on how other people treat you, you aren't respecting yourself. I have to go do bids to build things for people. Which means human interaction. 
I often wonder how many jobs I never got because of some social slip-up I didn't catch. Debatable take. The term weird has levels to it. But I will agree that people who are considered less outspoken and shy could make create sympathy. That is actually a very good attempt at socializing on Reddit you terrible swim 6786, I appreciate your thought here. Heavily depends on your friend group. There are definitely people who will give you a hard time. I think we can generalize this even more good people recognize your effort, regardless of the result. If this is true then there aren't many good people, and the ones that are good are probably neurodivergent like myself AUDHD. Which I knew, but took too long to actually realize. Other weird people also recognize your effort, that's what I see the most often in my experience. Yeah, the really nice folks tend to be generous toward others. Being considerate I guess. I think you can sort of tell how nice a person is by what kind of assumptions they have of others they've just met. General statements like this are no different than me saying people breath to stay alive and get appreciated for doing so by random strangers. Shrug. Good people being the equivalent of mediocre irrelevant conforming person? I fall into this because oftentimes I will make friends and they will tell me they thought I was weird in the beginning. If I can describe myself I'd say I'm Wednesday Adams without any homicidal thoughts. For the most part. Just kidding. I think as long as you have good intentions and are not being invasive, your weird will be accepted and embraced. I've met a few true weird folks and even my weird self was like yeah no I will not make eye contact with these people ever again. So socially inept to the point that it even weird me out. Like when you try to initiate a conversation with another 30-something guy at work and it's about dinosaurs. I feel this especially lately. I've been trying to be more social with my co-workers lately and I try to start up random condos, usually starting with things like how's the day been? Or got any weekend plans? It sounds simple enough obviously but for me it's been very hard to do because I always feel weird and like I'm bothering them. But so far it has led me to learning more about my co-workers and actually building the foundations of a bond one feel like. I hope at least. I go out of my way to help people who are socially awkward especially if they are making an effort. Nah. You are probably just talking to weird PPL because that's where you got in well. I do and say some weird shit sometimes. I've met a few people who will take it in stride, have the grace to not make me feel like a freak, and continue to treat me like I'm a valuable person worth talking to. Sometimes, it's the quiet acceptance of those people that keeps me afloat. A, it's way more nuanced than that. Weird isn't a great term because people can have hugely different opinions on what's weird. Additionally, people aren't going to think to themselves I recognize their effort even though they are weird. People tend to have one of three reactions after conversations. 1. I really enjoyed talking to that person and want to again. 2. I somewhat enjoyed talking to them and don't mind doing it from time to time when necessary. 3. I'm going to avoid talking to that person as much as possible. As an empath interactions come naturally to me. That said it's hell. Yep, but being neurodivergent exposes how few and far between these people are. Good people recognize that you don't have to be social. I'm a social. Do you want me to be antisocial? Love this one, wish there were more good people in this world lol. Yeah, until dickheads like me come around notice you try to socialize even though you're being awkward weird, then we silently judge you or even judge you out loud about it. I hate socializing but I am not afraid to socialize either. I dk am sometimes just fed up talking about anything. Hate to make enemies so I just pretend a smile and nod in acknowledgement. But I mean is it such a big deal, though? Big enough to have 9977 likes in 11 hours? Don't call us good people. Just talk enough that we know you exist and we can appreciate that you do a good job.